All right, hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video. My name's Eli, and if you guys love Batman as much as I do, consider subscribing, because today, I have another unboxing. That's ridiculous. Better stop it before somebody sees me. What you looking at? All right, cool, let's unbox it. Bat knife. Ooh, ooh. Ooh Look at this. We have poison ivy and Mr. Freeze. Dun dun dun. Let's see, which one shall we open first? Let's do Poison Ivy. We just did Roxy Rocket. Let's do Poison Ivy. Yeah, girls theme, something like that. All right. We will unbox Mr. Freeze in the next video. But today, we are taking a look at Poison Ivy. But first, a brief history. Poison Ivy was created by Robert Caniron and Sheldon Moldoff and made her debut in Batman number 181 on June 1966. Her character's full name is Dr. Pamela Lillian Isley. The experiments that transformed Dr. Isley introduced a mixture of several potent toxins into her bloodstream to act as a mutagen, making her touch deadly while also giving her complete immunity to all types of toxins and poisons including Joker Venom. Poison Ivy can mesmerize and manipulate people around her by using her special pheromones, but strong-minded people like Batman are usually capable of resisting. She can also create true serums to love potions. Often these serums are secreted from her lips and administered through a poisonous kiss, usually after professing false love for her victims. The kisses come in a number of varieties from mind-controlling drugs to instantly fatal toxins. She has the ability to control all forms of plant life on a molecular level, giving her the ability to cause giant plant roots to become uprooted at a moment's notice, and can direct the roots to entangle her enemies. Ivy has shown enough hand-to-hand -hand combat to challenge Batman without relying solely on her powers. In Batman the Animated Series, she was voiced by Diane Pershing and first appears in the episode Pretty Poison, in which she makes an assassination attempt on Harvey Dent. Altogether, she is featured in eight episodes in the series. Poison Ivy is one of Batman's most enduring enemies, belonging to the collective of adversaries who make up Batman's rogues gallery. Now back to the unboxing. Okay, here we go. So, Poison Ivy, here's the box. This is what it looks like. As you can see, this is number 49 in the collection. I am not collecting these in order at all. <laughs> but this is a 10 piece set. Batman the Animated Series Poison Ivy Collectibles. Oof! I'm gonna open it, even though probably shouldn't. It? There we go. This is actually pretty cool uh, boxing design because it's, it's made to uh, hinge, like so, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, super easy, comes out just like that. No stand, what, no stand? How come there's no stand? Okay, some get a stand and some don't get a stand? Was there supposed to be a stand? I don't know. I guess there's no stand with this one. Comes with this, the hands, dun dun dun, like so. But uh, yeah, before we open this up and uh, take a look at uh, Poison Ivy, I did say in my last video, I didn't have batteries for the Roxy Rocket and this thing lights up and it's really super cool. It looks, you know, especially when you have it like, like that. That looks cool, you know? But uh, yeah, so there it is, all lit up. All you do is just twist on, off, off, on, sort of thing, and you're good to go. I glued this back in place and uh, it's perfect. Yeah, couldn't ask for something cooler. But we have something cooler, it's Poison Ivy. But 
Oop, there goes the hands. Okay, they all fall out, just one at a time. She comes with a lot of different inexchangeable hands. And of course, from the first episode we see her in, she has the pot of roses, the rare, I don't know what they call them in the TV series, but the rare roses that she has. Got it, there we go. Okay, very nice, very nice, very cool. There's that. And it also comes with my favorite, all the other things you can collect. Like what? Like so. Dun, dun, dun. But here she is. Very cool. Let's see how many points of articulation she has. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 points of articulation. Hands, wrists, arms, elbows. They come out like so. As you can see, her legs bend. She can go into like almost the splits like so. Bends at the knee. The boot, oh, the boot twists. So that's another 17, 18, 19. And she has her gauntlet right here. Her is attached to her arm and then you can take out the hand. But that's pretty cool that she comes with this feature. Her gauntlet crossbow. That's uh, like her signature weapon in the uh, animated series, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I think they did a pretty decent job. I don't think the hair is 100% accurate. Um, it seems a little brown. I think she's more of a redhead in the cartoon series but she did not come with a stand. I don't know if she was supposed to come with a stand or not. Did she come with foot pegs? Nope, no foot pegs. But she stands, she's, she, let's see, how long is it gonna take for me to stand you up? There we go, she's standing, boom. Let's see, she measures at five and a half inches. So she's five and a half inches tall, as you can see, five and a half inches. About five and a half inches tall. Very cool. Her her head has very good articulation. But yeah. There we go. There's Poison Ivy. There's a uh, close-up on the face. Very cool. Nope. Mm -mm. Air, go ahead. Haha, <laughs> she stole the rocket. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. Well, here it is, guys. This is Poison Ivy. I'm really happy to have her in the collection. But the things that I do not like about this is her hip on the right side uh, sticks out from the hip joint. And on the left side, it's a little more snug, uh, giving her a better uh, left side profile. Um, but that's it. That's the only problem. And I think it's just this action figure and it doesn't bother me enough to where I should go out and um, get a new one. So uh, it's just, I have it. It's a great addition to the collection. If you're collecting them all, definitely get Poison Ivy. If Poison Ivy is your favorite character, then by all means, of course you should have the iteration of the Batman the Animated Series, Poison Ivy, of course, it's no, no bringer. But uh, let's take a look at her and the rest of the collection. Here we go. Well, that vans, this is it. This is the whole collection. Holy cow. Oh, this is awesome. So, uh, yeah. Well, Bat fans, we've come to the end of another fantastic episode. What do you guys think of Poison Ivy? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this give video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down or do the opposite. It's totally up to you. Um, you can follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram if you like all this uh, Batman stuff because I post a lot of it. <laughs> so hit that notification bell. 
That way, you know, when the next video pops up and if you guys want to support what I do and get exclusive content like my Batman utility belts, check out my Patreon page and become a Patreon member. Yeah! Thank you so much, guys, for supporting me and all your comments and whatnot and uh, watching my videos. Thank you so much. I could not do this without your guys' support, so thank you. Well, I think that's it, guys. I'll see everybody in the next episode. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And you guys have a bat-tastic day. See ya. Bye. Woohoo. Bye-bye.